Unfortunately, 3D printers can't make full-size furniture yet, but what they can do is help you make parts that make building your own furniture much easier to do. So today I'm going to show you how to make an end table using basic materials, simple tools, and a 3D printed part that brings it all together. To create this sucker, you'll need a big, wide, 1 inch thick wood panel, a 1 8 inch thick plank, two dowels, a jigsaw, a drill, a couple clamps, a tape measure, some finishing nails, and a roll of double-sided tape. You'll also need a 3D printer, but don't worry if you don't own one. There's ways to get a 3D printed part made even if you don't have one at home. Okay, so before you do anything else, the first step is to fabricate that 3D printed part. This is the keystone of the design, so getting it right is crucial. Once you've downloaded the model and loaded it into your slicer, you'll want to scale up the part to about 106% of the original size. This is super important because it'll ensure that the dowel rods fit into the holes easily. Once that's done, you're good to go. Just hit print and let the machine do its thing. Step two is to cut the circle that will become the tabletop. Making a square one is way easier, but it doesn't look as good, so in order to make it circular, you first need to find the center of the board. Then grab that 1 8 inch plank, drill a couple holes in it, and use a nail to pin it to the center of the table and create a pivoting pencil guide. Check out our full post for the dirty details. After the circle is drawn, take that pencil guide and cut a chunk out of the front. Then use double-sided tape to attach it to the base of your jigsaw. From there, just secure the cutting jig to the center of the board with a nail, and then you're ready to cut a perfect circle. If you want to, you can also round the edges with a router. The next step is to use a few screws to attach that 3D printed tripod joint to the underside of the table. Feel free to drill out the screw holes if they aren't big enough. The final step is to cut the dowel rods to size. These will become the legs of the table, so they need to be even. Once you've got them cut, sand down the ends, drill some pilot holes, and screw them into the 3D printed joint. After that, just throw some finish on it and you've got a sweet little end table. All right guys, thank you for watching. Um, if you want a more detailed description of how to build this table, we have got full instructions at that link below. Um, if you wanna find more weekend workshop videos where I show you how to build really cool stuff, check out the playlist right over there to my right. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe.